I'm Jessica Choba and I am pissed off. And this is Nerdist News, get ready for rant time. Let me tell you guys a little story. When I was in middle school and I would race home, literally race home, running through the snow in Chicago just to get home in time to see my favorite cartoon, Gem and the Holograms. Shortly thereafter, followed by Bones of the Clown and maybe He-Man and She-Ra. But I'm talking about Gem and the Holograms. I ran. That was probably a mile. Now, the first trailer for the big screen reboot of Gem and the Holograms dropped yesterday, and it is truly, truly, truly a big bowl of suck. The beloved 80s cartoon has transformed from a glamorous sci-fi fantasy musical into a tale about the struggles of being YouTube famous, and I am about to f***ing barf. Gem and the Holograms, for those of you who don't know, told the touching story of Jerrica Benton, owner and operator of Starlight Music, a record company, as well as the Starlight Foundation, an orphanage. With the power of a high-tech sentient entertainment system she inherited from her father, Jerrica can project a cool costume over her clothes from her earrings, transforming her into Gem, the world's most beloved and badass rock star. Gem and her band, the Holograms, travel around the world, getting into scrapes and performing their music for the masses, while occasionally battling their rivals, the Misfits. Yeah, that shit was crazy, and it was awesome. But now, the gem we know has been cast aside in favor of a coming-of-age story in which Jerrica, her sister Kimber, and the rest of the band rise to internet fame. In the trailer, we see no holograms, no misfits, and I'm not even sure what the f*** is going on with Synergy. The only conflict at all seems to be some kind of half-hearted dream girls riff in which Jerrica's manager tries to talk her into ditching her pals and going solo. Why is this movie even called Gem and the Holograms? It's Gem in name only. Now, plenty of stuff from our childhoods has been altered or arguably ruined by the Hollywood machine, but this time it's happening to me, mother and I'm not having it! There are tons of Hollow fans out there, including myself and the entire crew of this show. Yeah. Who are all male? So yeah. what? Yes, you are. FYI. So why aren't we getting the over-the-top, campy, Baz Luhrmann-directed, mega-budget gem movie we deserve? It's not too late, Universal. Dump this shit of a movie and give us the goods. Oh, whatever. At least Molly Ringwald's in it. But wait. I don't want to leave you guys sad and full of anger. Something from the 80s is coming back in a not terrible way too. With E3 right around the corner, Nintendo, in a hilarious video starring our beloved Reggie, has announced that for the first time in 25 years, there will be a Nintendo World Championship! <laughs> you can watch the competition online or in person at the Nokia Theater in LA on June 14th, and if you want to compete, you can enter one of the qualifying rounds in Best Buys across the country. But what do you guys think? Am I overreacting? No, I'm not. Will you go see a gem movie without the Misfits synergy or any actual holograms? No, you shouldn't. Does it even matter anymore now that you know that Nintendo World Championship is coming back? It does kind of help my soul. Let's discuss. Click on my awesome keytar to subscribe to the Nerdist channel where Dan Casey has the lowdown on these six DC comic films that almost got made over on the Dan Cave. Then head on over to Nerdist.com for even more Nerdist news. Wow, wow. That was sweet! <laughs>